she put her arms, and I'm like, oh, no, them are gunshots. So I grab her, and I take her to the ground like that, and I, I have her like this in my legs, and I curl her up like this. Only on 13 tonight, the boyfriend of a pregnant woman shot and killed is opening up about her final moments. The bullet that hit Brittany McNew was likely meant for someone else, and police still have not made an arrest in the case. As Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson explains, the boyfriend has a message now for Brittany's family. According to Brittany McNew's boyfriend, the shooter came from this alley you see behind me, and he has a message not only for who's responsible for her death, but also Brittany's family. Picked her up and carried her into the living room and laid her down and told the people to keep pressure on the woman. 19-year-old Cody Bowman wants his girlfriend's family to know <laughs> he did everything he could to save Brittany McNew. Their Facebook friendship turned love affair with the two expecting a baby in December. While looking at a TV for sale at this West Michigan Street house Thursday morning, gunfire likely meant for him struck Brittany. The 19-year-old is calling for the shooters to surrender and urges Brittany's family not to hold the senseless shooting against him. I want Brittany's family to know that I tried everything that I could to save your daughter and niece. That was the love of my life. She changed my whole life around for the better. And I want you guys to know I chased that car. I ran out of that house chasing that car. For three blocks, I shot at myself. You and the police will find you and you will do your time. You killed my baby and my baby mama over something that should have never happened. I just want justice for my child and my baby mother. Bowman now keeps their ultrasound photos from their unborn baby who was due in December. If you have any information that can help in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 262 TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.